We're here with Susanna Carey at the Fountain Hills Sanitation District to help show us how they calibrate their conductivity meter to use it out in the field. Susanna, can you show us what you do here? Sure. Are we doing just conductivity or you also pH? Do you, don't, do you do both of them on the same meter? We do. We do. We use okay. them frequently for the wells. And okay. Today, all we need is to watch you do the conductivity. And so you have your records out. You do your uh, calibration actually in the lab, not out in the field? Yes, in the lab. Okay. And so what's that solution you have there? This is our conductivity standard. And what is that? Where do you get that from? From a vendor? Yes, from a vendor. Okay. Um, we pour some off and we have it labeled with the lot number and expiration date and we keep it out. Okay, well that's fine. We keep it up in our cabinet that we okay. just have for the field. So you use the standard methods, and standard methods requires that you do check one standard each day of use. That's and correct. so that's what you're in the process of checking. Yes. And we do we make sure that we record the lot number. The lot number? So this standard has a value of 1412, is that correct? Um, this standard is 1413. 1413, okay. And what's the range of acceptance that you're looking for? Uh, between 90 and 110 percent. Okay. So you're doing the calculation right now? Yes. Um, came out to 1507. Which puts it the higher end, but it's 107%. So it's still within the specs. Okay. So the instrument read here. 15 of 7, and then just write down what the percentage is. Okay. And so are you ready to go now, as far as going out in the field? For conductivity, yes. I do need to calibrate for pH. Okay. So we're now going to go out into the field. We saw that Susanna did the calibration back in the laboratory, and now Jim is out in the field to do the actual sample. Now, you can see here that we've got the well set up. Can you explain how you make sure that you, 
your uh, representative on how you're sampling so that your final reading is going to be consistent and represent what's in this well. Sure. Um, initially, when we come out and um, are ready to do our sampling, we'll first of all take a water level read. Um, depending on your well, you may have a day logger or you have to manually tape it, um, but you need that initial well <coughs> depth so that you're able to calculate your three well volumes purge. So we'll take that um, read and we'll log it at the time that we um, begin the purge. From there, we'll calculate um, three well volumes, which will give us a, the amount of time that it's going to take to do that. Um, and that's the point that we're at at this point. Um, from there, uh, we basically... Right so I, yeah. I saw you go over, you've already set up and you've already taken an initial sample. Why do you do that? Um, because we were, we're establishing the baseline from the get-go um, so that you're able to ascertain the changing of the, the conductivity as you purge over time and temperature and pH. Uh, it, like I said, the, the APP permit denotes that you purge three well volumes or until it becomes stable. In our case, we automatically are doing three well volumes, but it still allows us to historically look back over time and see what the initial uh, values were as well as the ending that we would report on our SMIRF. Okay, so we've got it to the point where it's stable. Why don't you go over and take a sample for us and actually read it. So you're also looking at temperature and pH and pH to make sure that they're stable before you get your reading. And when the read is stabilized and it's ready to be taken, in this case with our meter, the flickering will stop and it'll be a solid a numeric. And this will happen at 10 minute increments until the well has purged three well volumes. At that point, we'll take our last sample, run it in duplicate, because we're running standard methods 2510. So we're gonna run a duplicate. In our case, we do it every single well because we don't do that many wells per month and it would be difficult to ascertain home what percentage after a period of time 10 wells would be. So we just do it daily. Okay. So the method doesn't require, require daily, no. but you do it, so that's fine. Great. And so, now you've got your reading, you're ready to go? Now that I've got my reading, in this case, I've got my reading, if we were to simulate that this would be the last reading, that would be the one I take. 